What's up, everyone? Welcome down to the vault. Alongside myself, I got my good friend Walter Morgan. What's up, Walt? Whew, it's smoky in here today. I wonder why I'm smoking hella weed. I don't know. I just feel like some days it's like you just want to listen to heavy metal and smoke weed, right? I know you guys do. So I'm sure you'll be commenting about that. Now, believe me, leave them there. Anyway, I get to ask this a lot. Um, so I've been I. asked for many years. People around me have always asked um, where I came up, where, where it happened. But today I'm going to tell everybody how I got the name Zetro. Your nickname. The nickname. Now, some people actually thought it was my real name. I've had people tell me, dude, were your, or ask me, were your parents hippies? And I'm like, why? Well, where did you get a name like Zetro? I'm like, oh, oh, oh believe me, it goes back a long way. So it actually goes back to my youth days. It had nothing to do with music. You know, guys like Slash probably got his name or Axel. Those guys probably got their names in in rock and roll or as they were coming. Maybe they didn't, but I did not get this name through rock and roll. I was about 14 or 15. I think it was 15 because it was in 1979. And I was uh, sophomore in high school. And I grew up in Dublin, California. A lot of people, you guys know that. I grew up in, and everybody was a partier, it seemed like. Everybody I grew up in that era, it was like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. For sure. For Wasn't sure. it, Walt? Yes. Don't you remember it? I mean, I graduated in 78. Right. So the late 70s, early 80s was all about, you know, let's just party and get crazy. I think that's how the 80s got the reputation because it was kind of that era. So back in the day, I mean, I, I experimented with it. I wouldn't even call it experimenting hardly because I took it enough. That's not even experimentation. If you take it enough, you're, you, you do it. You're not experimenting. So uh, I uh, did acid many times and mushrooms. It was a cheap high. You can get a hit acid for like three bucks. Right. Four bucks. It wasn't like Coke. You know, a lot of people have that period in their life where they do it. It's like usually around you when you're 18, 19. I did it early. I was around 14, 15 till about 17. <laughs> I probably did 30 plus trips. Yeah. yeah, you know what I say. If you don't have the brain cells to spare, then don't do it. Not on that right? one, anyway. Okay. Not on that for drug. the kids, anyway. So there were always different levels of acid. As I was a kid, they had different names, and I remember one of the names was it was kind of not so heavy. It was called Orange Sunshine. I remember that, and they had obviously Purple Haze because the song from Jimi Hendrix. But they had this acid. It was called Four Way Window Pain. Oh yeah. And I, I mean, I'd taken some acid before, but this shit was unbelievable. So I take, I'm with a good friend of mine. I remember his name, Keith Newport. Keith, if you're still alive out there and you happen to see this, wow. please send me a comment <laughs> because I would love to hear from you because I remember that. I remember I couldn't go home on acid because my dad was a biker. And so my dad knew if you were on drugs or not. I didn't have one of those snurred, finkle furred fucking old man's going, excuse me, he looks like he's on something. My old man fucking knew. So he, uh, I couldn't go home. So I stayed the night at Keith's house, actually. I had planned to do that. So we um, we had taken uh, uh, taken the hit, probably around six six fifteen. And if anybody knows, acid takes quite some time before you, you peak. Well, before it even starts to come on, unlike then, any other drug, if you do a line of coke, it hits you right away. Yeah, heroin, same thing. Smoke weed, you're stoned right now. Drink two, three shots real quick, you're drunk. You know. Um, Acid doesn't work like that. Acid you have to digest has to get through you. But then it'll start coming on. So about 6, 6.15 in the night, we we, we, t- we dropped this acid. And then about 7.30, it hit. And there's a four-way stopway in, in Dublin. California. You're driving around on it? No, no, no. <laughs> no, God, I didn't. I did, but that's another okay, story. That's another when one. saw the song remains the same. Oh, fog, yeah. And oh, I yeah. drove home with fog. Anyway. Anyway, that's a uh, must. I, I, uh, I, we were just walking around town. And in Dublin, they have these things called the Four Corners. Anybody who's there now, it's where AMPM is and, and kind of um, um, Starbucks and, and oil changers. That Four Corners there. And um, Dublin wasn't a city then. So they didn't have their own police force. They had Santa Rita's, which were, you know, Alameda County Police. And so there wasn't a lot of them out there, like two for the whole city. And there was a lot of kids back in those days. So 
him and I are walking around, walking down the street, and we get to these lights. And probably for the next <laughs> two hours, we just sat and changed them so we could watch them change. And the trails are wah, 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 just going off. And we are frying. So um, we knew there was a party that was starting around 9 or 9.30. And, um, you know, not, not, not far walk from where we were. And so um, when we decided to go to the party, I... Uh, we're walking down the street, and we're not saying nothing to each other. We're just... You're peeking. Just tripping. Fucking cars are driving by, and the lights are lighting. You're laughing your ass off for no fucking reason. I'm not saying anything. And all of a sudden, I look over at this guy, and out of for no reason whatsoever, I just go, Zet. And he goes, looks at me, and he goes, Zet? And I go, Zet. I don't know. I thought it was an outer space. It's a total acid word. I mean, the word alone. I don't know where it came from. I don't know. I never heard it anywhere You're before. Subconscious. Just zet. I mean, maybe it was destiny. That's part of it. You know, part of sure. the history has I believe to happen. It. So, right. So, um, we're walking this part and we're laughing over the stupid word. I'm saying it. He's saying it. I'm saying. It. So I get to this party, right? And everybody, nobody there. Other than the two of us are frying on acid. Now, if you're not frying on acid and other people are frying on acid, oh, yeah. to look from the outside in is absolutely amazing because that person has no control over their thoughts or what they're thinking, if they're laughing, whatever. So I remember being in the corner of the party outside in the backyard in a chair against the fence and people were coming up to me and going, Hey, Susan, what's up? Hey, Steven, how you doing? I'm, and I just kept going, Zet. <laughs> Zet. Not saying any other fucking word, but Zet. And um, every time somebody walked up to me, they're like, hey, what's up, Susan? You're frying on that. Look at Susan's all wasted. And I was like, yeah. Was like, I'd be like, Zet. Zet. <laughs> so that was like on a Friday night. So I remember going back to Keith Newport's house. And we're in the kitchen just laughing his ass off. And his dad gets up and comes in and goes, and goes, hmm, I see that you guys are on some kind of alcohol or pot. Now, see, he had the snurd fickle for a fucking old man. If it would have been my dad, it would have been a size 11 engineer boot up my ass because you're on drugs. I'm going to beat you up while you're on drugs because no kid of mine's doing drugs, and even though we did drugs. Anyway, so the next... It was the weekend went by, and then the Monday started at school, and I had to go back to school, Dublin High. Oh, and I hung out in the in the smoking section with all That's the stoners. stoner section. Right. So I'm walking up, and everybody started coming up to me and going, what's up, Zet? What's going on, Zet? What's Love going it. Dude, you were so fucked up on Friday night, man. All you could say was Zet. So from that day forward... It started out as people, people trying to be funny, trying to remind me of that time, calling me Zet. And, and I, 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 I mean, like, like, oh, let's fuck with him. Remember when he was all on acid? Hey, Zet! That it completely turned into my name after a while. And people started calling me Zet. So then for many years, it was just Zet from probably 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 oh, about... 17 or 18, I started hanging out with the Billies, uh, Andy and Chuck. Charlie. Charlie Billy. Everyone's got a nickname in Dublin, know, right? We used to call Everybody. Him, well, we used to call him Cheese because Chuck, because Chuck and they, Cheese. We used to call him Cheese, but now it's Charlie. We, or Charlie. Chief. Actually, Chief his, real, his real name is Charles Billy, so yes. that's why we call him Charlie. So every um, so I started hanging out with those cats, and, um, and uh, they played in a band called Rampage. And um, it was um, Greg G. Money Bustamani from Dublin Death Patrol. Chuck's brother, Andy, from also du from Dublin Death Patrol. Willie Lang. Laws Rocket. Love you, Willie. Miss you. From Laws Rocket and um, also Diamond. And then it was Chuck. And I was kind of their roadie, believe it or not. I kind of hung out with them. And there was another friend of ours from Dublin, Jimmy Christensen. Oh, yeah. And Jimmy... Bopper. 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 See, again, everybody <laughs> Everyone's has, got a nickname. Everybody got a nickname. So, Bopper, we were all um, at, at a party one time. And um, I remember I was like, I was getting gear for them. 
and stuff like that. And he goes like this to me. He goes, he goes, um, hey, go grab that guitar, Zetro. And he he put the tro on it. it. So I mean, Zet I had for already a couple of years, and people were already calling me Zet, and they just refer and people. Still do. I mean, Exodus calls me, hey, Zeddy, you know what I mean? And Zet and people, most, you know, most people call me Zetro. Very few of you call me Steven, which I don't mind either or it doesn't bother me. It, it never has in the past. And um, so from then on, you know, Jimmy and call me Zetro and it became Zetro. And then I just went by Steve Zetro Souza for that. And that was like something that. Um, how cool. Uh, how it comes out. Like I said, and people have asked me many times, hey, man. Fucking, were your parents supposed to have been hippies to name you Zetro? So what's, what kind of a name is Zetro Sousa? And I'm like, it was a kind of a name on acid. It was like, well, your parents are on acid? Like, no, no, I was on acid. Anyway, leave me some comments. I got one thing to say. Jimmy also gave me a nickname because everybody's got to have a nickname. So right, what's yours? Falter, because I Falter. do everything wrong. Falter, so there you go. <laughs> but anyway. Leave me some comments. Sign up for my channel, and I'll be giving you more stories like that. Other than that, me and Walt will see you in the Vault Real soon.